Hi, this is Jim Gibson. Thank you for coming to my channel today. Hey, I sold this really great idea today. And I was with some cablers and uh, we were talking about some of the, the administration of putting in cables. And this is a neat way to keep track of the cabling and the floor plans and all. And what you're gonna see here is something I've not seen before. It's so simple though, I should have thought about it years ago. You know, normally uh, what I do is I have a floor plan and I open the floor plan up and it's a piece of paper and I roll it out and I mark where everything is. Sometimes I take a highlighter and I highlight where the jacks are so I don't miss anything. And then I write the jack, you know, the wire path, which way it's going to go. And then I talk to my people about it and everything else. But this guy came out with a great idea and it's so simple. I should have thought of it years ago. And uh, he's just using his cell phone. He took a picture of the floor plans and he puts it into a paint program and then he marks it all up and he gives it to his uh, crew and they can all keep track using their, their smartphone as to what they're doing. At any rate, let's go and take a look at it. I don't know if you would want to do either one strip coming across, like straight off your main pathway, or if you wanted to come into the lab and do one branch coming down the hallway wall. Because there's one on the hallway wall right there. Mm -hmm. And then there's that, that one. So there's two in this room, just right here and right there. And the room next to it has one on the one on the inside the door. So what if we came off the main pathway, came off right to this one right here, mm -hmm. and then shot across? That way we can hit that one, we can hit that one, and then come down, and we can hit that one. Okay, I could do that. I think that's the only four locations in that pathway that would, would make it an easier pull coming off the main run also. Mm -hmm. So I just go at an angle from here. Yeah, right to that one. Right to the right right to here. So this way? Yep. Okay. Right there, right there, right there. Okay. Then we can hit those four because you've already and I'm gonna mark up where you've ran the pathway in the reception area, the nurse's station behind mm -hmm. the reception. I'll mark that up. Yeah, because right here, I'm off the pathway, and I okay. screwed J-hooks going that way. Okay, I'll mark those two lines up. And then I was looking at where you went, where you're talking about going in the server room. I can come right off that back pathway back here to the outside window wall. Mm -hmm. And then in there, we have multiple locations if we come straight down we can then branch off on multiple pathways so do one run and we can hit up one two three four five six almost seven offices off that one run because it looks yep. like this office has two this office has two this office has two this one has three so if we come off this wall there's a little bit like there's very much on that side no is that two locations there honestly i think that's another lab so there's nothing in that room. No. So everything else is basically on this back half of the suite. We just have one one location right there. In that and we could do we could do for one single run right off the hallway into there. So I was thinking about coming this way, and then we can branch off and hit these locations, and then somehow in this room depending on the, the coming down this wall and coming down this wall. And then we can keep this one going across to get to like these ones right here. If we get to this one, we can come across and hit that one. And these right here. Just come out the hallway again. Just yeah. follow the hallway down. And yep. we can branch over, get that one, get that one, and get that one. And then there's that one in that pathway. And this, I think there's one right there that we can take off of either or. Okay. And that way I can hit all these up as we go. <coughs> Sounds good. I'm good with that. Okay. And, and then I'm actually able to mark out a pathway of how we're running the cable. We can go over a quick design of how we want to lay it out. And that way I'm not using a pen or a Sharpie or a highlighter to mark up a paper floor plan. So I can make changes to this on the fly. And then mm -hmm. I can email this to the customer, to a project manager. If we have an issue, like for example, right here you can't see, but I'll use blue. This is a concrete wall right here, mm -hmm. and there's only one little space to go past it right against the outside wall. 
but the concrete wall goes all the way across, so we decided to stay straight underneath it to bypass. <laughs> now, this um, hallway that we're actually I'm standing in right now, is this hallway uh, going to be a um, sealed hallway? It's all drop tile hallway, so you are standing right about here right now. Mm -hmm. And it's all drop tile through the whole suite, so we are able to actually keep our J-hooks attached to the rafters, so that way we're not diving up and under and up and under, because there's a lot of HVAC, especially in this side, mm -hmm. that if we would have stayed inside the truss, which I would have preferred, we would have had a very uneven pathway. By keeping the pathway attached to the bottom of the trusses, we can keep a level pathway, much straighter pathway, and it's closer to the tiles for later on if we need to get to the cable. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were talking earlier today, you've been doing this for how many years? Uh, close to 18 years. And your dad was the one that taught you? Yeah, he, uh, he taught me uh, cabling and how to terminate. And he works on phone systems. He pulls cable, so it was kind of, I kind of grew up into it. I went to work with him one day and I got hired on the next day and that was a few companies ago. So I'm gonna yeah. save this right now. I was telling you that my son was the same way. I think he was like 13 or 14 and I would take him out on uh, job sites with me um, on uh, weekends <laughs> and small job sites. That's, that's Just what my dad teach would him. do. Yeah. I mean, um, oh, wrong button. When I wasn't able to stay at home, mm -hmm. he would just take me out and kind of just set me off to the side and I would be out of his way. And I picked up things, not knowing that I was like paying attention. I just picked up certain tasks and it actually ended up helping out later on in life. When I first started, Cat 3 was brand new, wasn't even a standard yet and they didn't have patch cords. And so I put uh, him and his brother to task at home making Cat 3 patch cords. Uh, Convenient. For, and I think back then we were still using RJ11s for uh, Cat 3. Later when it became a standard, obviously it was RJ45. But uh, it was, I, I can't remember whether it was one pair or two pair back then. It's probably two pair because that's the standard. But that's another thing they did and they grew up in the doing it. Did it for many years. Uh, erase. <laughs> What's that? I was trying to erase some marks that I made earlier so I can make them look better. Mm -hmm. And then I'm able to actually go into a draw program and you can enter text, enter different types of symbols but if I go to the paint program in the draw file, I can choose the size or the style of writing I want to do. Highlighter, if I need to mark up floor plans that need to be added, like locations that need to be added. For floor plans, I just use the pencil one, the finest point. And then I usually, depending on the color that I would need to do for either a cable, a pathway, a fire penetration, I'll change the different colors and then I'll make notes off to the side or put those notes in the email or I'll make like the locations be a blue triangle and then the TVs be a yellow triangle ceiling locations for WAPs or cameras be orange, red just to differentiate them and what type of phone do you have? A Galaxy Note 8 Galaxy Note 8 and is this just paint that comes with the Galaxy Note yeah, 8? yeah, it's just part of the program hmm. it just comes with the the phone itself. I found it on accident one time and I use it all the time now. It's very, very handy. So this is something new. I've not seen this before, but man, it really works. We used to use uh, 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 iPads. A lot of our GCs have iPads and they'll walk around and like a previous mm -hmm. job that John and I were on, would, they would actually take pictures with their iPads, sending it to the contacts, customers, Mm -hmm. job foremans and they were all linked so you would receive an email showing a picture of a location and then a little description this needs to be fixed uh, this needs to be moved what's this doing here something like that so it actually works out really well it's we had we put our uh, our work orders on our uh, iPads 
And like you're saying now, that was 10 years ago. I mean, we came up, we wrote a program so we could put our work orders there and they could write the parts in and pick the parts they use. And hey, thanks for watching uh, my channel today. I do appreciate it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 uh, subscribers uh, as soon as possible, hopefully before the end of the year. And thank you for watching.